Not on live TV. I know many of you want to get to the highlights, so let's head to The Rock, the so-called rock in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Your defense, as you mentioned, gets off to a good start, getting a fumble on Southern Miss's second possession. Well, I tell you what, it's a, <clears throat> a to Bearcat defense that played extremely hard, and it's a it's a it's a fairly young football team at Southern Miss. Very athletic. Uh, they're a good football team. They had two penalties on the day. We had twelve. They're just a much more disciplined outfit than we are right there. As you see, Jeff Bowers done a great job at Southern Miss, and you see the cats on the prowl. We rushed for two hundred and sixty some odd yards, netted out even uh, close to three hundred on the day, and we go out there and we take a field goal, and uh, we're off and running. But again, once again, we're down there. We penalties killed us on every single offensive drive. On the on the three plus 70, 80 yard plays we had, as you see the defense right here is the one play. Shoddy tackling, just throw the ball downfield on the scramble. We're playing man to man coverage. Great throw, great catch. I don't fault Zach Norton at all for that one right there. It's just the defense. And right here they had the one run that just broke us. Derek Nix is a big time back. He's 225 pounds and, and had a good solid effort on the day. But our defense played extremely well against it. You see Gino coming back off the injury of last week and uh, was, was a little bit hot and cold. Had some good things happen for him. Had some drops on the day that we'd love to have back. And here's what continually hurts us right here. We just drove the ball 60 yards on 12 plays and yet to botch up another field goal. And this is getting old because this is not the first one we've had on the season right there. As you see Jamar Enzor of Tallahassee, Florida come on in and get a sack. Jamar's becoming a big play linebacker for us as we play a lot of guys. And right here you see us uh, hitting Johnny O on the outside. Again, we drive the ball 92 yards. Uh, we have to end up settling. <clears throat> I think this may be the drive coming up here. Nice run action. Dennis Hart on the move right there. Get a little first down. When we mix in the run, the run action, our quick game, and occasionally throw it downfield, we're a good solid offense and don't turn the ball over. You see right here the little rail pass. Sticking Mack in at fullback right there. Gets it for some 30 yards on the game. Sets us up. We're nearing the end of the... Uh, first half right here and this was a critical play because it's third down and right at five and a half to six we get about five and I'm thinking uh, do we go for it and risk no points at all we just botched the field goal or do we go in at half seven six no, no harm no foul we get the ball back start the second half and of course we've won the toss I guess now every single ball game I guess that's our problem but uh, as you see us come out smoking the second half uh, we come out running the football and uh, do a nice job getting this thing down the football field. McCluskey had another day. We ran all of our tailbacks quite a bit. We got Booker Van involved, and here was the biggest botch on the day. Uh, we had to start a new center. Uh, Josh schneider -Roth could not answer the bell physically. Tremendous effort on Mac's part right there to give the defense a little ground to stand on. And uh, Joel Yakovac, the young sophomore, had to step in. And right here, they got us uh, on an all-out blitz. we got to have awareness of where we are on the field right there. There's not but three yards left to go, and uh, we're a little bit soft right there. So they snuck another one in on us. Gino got hurt on that <clears throat> fumble when his hand was stepped on. George Murray came in and directed the offense down the field. Yeah, I mean, like you say, we're not just uh, a one-dimensional team right now. George does a nice job, and, and Gino's been taking a beating the last month or so of the season, and that was no, uh, no different. Right here, what you see George has this ability to do is avoid some rushes sometimes that maybe others can't and uh, keep things alive. Right here, this is a called play. You see him tucking it away early, gets up in there, gashes for six, seven yards, just to change a pace. Not only was it a good situation to put him in there at that particular time uh, due to the injury, but you see Mack right there bolt his way into the end zone for another rushing touchdown from McCluskey, does a heck of a job. Again, look at all the drives. We had four drives over 10 and 11 plays each. Uh, 80 and 92, there's George on a two-point conversion right there. We're knotted up after all the bad that's happened after three quarters, and this was the last play of the third quarter. It's tied up. You know, we're even Steven and Hashburg until this play right here occurs. And it's a nice play by the defense, very errant throw on George's part. No ground to stand on by the defense. 44-yard touchdown return, and uh, they're in business back up by seven again. Another look at uh, Murray's pass that was picked off by Etrick Pruitt, Telegraph. Well, they, they run a robber coverage where they play brackets between two and three, and I think after you go to the well for a while and you throw that same route for a little while, it doesn't take long for a good defense step up. Uh, I, I like the atmosphere, as you saw right there in Hattiesburg. They're doing a nice job promoting this program down there, and uh, here we got to be so much better either getting rid of the football and or being a better uh, protecting team, and you see right here, Chance for a turnover for and one right can't there. get the ball. Just, you know, the ball doesn't bounce our way uh, as it did for them on the on the fumble uh, by our center quarterback. But right here you have a chance. It's a nice tackle. Guys open. 
Only good things happen to defenses that continually fly the ball. And we just got to keep working on it. Uh, but right here, our defense gave up uh, two drives, 131, one about 40, 44. And both of them, we forced an errant field goal that kept us alive. And then right here, you see, uh, I don't know why that wasn't called a face mask. Yeah, check out the replay. Yeah, I think this was a botch call by the official, and it was, and it was huge in this ball game. And uh, that cost us not only potentially our quarterback right there on a neck injury, but uh, it was a botched up call that was not called. That gave him the... Uh, Two scores. Nine point yep. uh, cushion on us right then. We just couldn't generate it going. But every drive we had that we didn't penal penalize ourselves, we went down and scored. Every drive that we botched it up with some kind of penalty that kept putting us behind the eight ball. And we're not that good. You have to understand that. You're not good enough to spot a team first and 20, first and 15, second and 21, and say, okay, it doesn't matter what the odds are. We're going to do it every time. So I still think we're the biggest.